how about you like um how do you you feel about these things like oh it's, it's just what it is like you know like i have you laid off you laid off oh that's your thing like, i know you earn so much money is that what you're thinking hey fuck <laughs> you like <laughs> Because you, you sound like you, <laughs> the way you asked the question was like, Terrence, why are you even why bothered? You care? Why you care? Why you care? It's like, why you care? Off, ah. They earn a lot of money. Ah. Technocrats. Ah, they're just going to technocrats, yeah. garden oh, leave. They're going to oh, be oh, gardening. Jobs, ah. You know, exactly. Yeah, la. they're all garden leave till 31st December all, oh, then get sev- severance, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think why it's, uh, it's interesting for me, it's, yeah, la, I mean, I think it's very easy and I've caught myself also thinking that exact same thing. Like, I mean, if you work for Twitter, chances are you are going to be a, a, a pretty uh, a, a decent hire for any company out there. Because like. mm. I assume there is a lot of supply of people who want to work for Twitter. If you end up getting employed by Twitter, you must have a certain level of competence. Mm. So, yeah, I won't deny that. One of my thoughts was like, okay, um, you get fired. Like, uh, I know... The, the tech industry is layoffs like crazy, but it feels like you can you you might still be able to to get a job like mm. you still you have the skills mm. right. But I think that's also a very dangerous thought lah because for anyone who is doing anything in their life when mm. there's a sudden change, it's quite a shock lah right. Mm. Uh, it can be a, a a good thing, a bad thing. It's always going to be a shock. Mm. Um, I know even for us, yeah, we've had like some bigger shocks like when the company liquidated. But even when a certain gig that we were planning for, uh, it can be a video gig, a podcast gig, falls through, there's a certain like, ugh, okay, something that, you know, what was anchoring the next few weeks, next few months of your life is just gone. Mm. So I can imagine a job like this where you get uh, an email, because some of them are, uh, are recounted that um, they basically got an, uh, I mean, just like one one example, like mm. Abigail, mm. Who is, which is not her real name, mm. um, her account was that at like 8.20 a.m. on the way to work mm-hmm. on November 4th, she got an email. And then the email said there will be layoffs, that uh, employee badges will not work, so you should go home and not to the office. Mm. So she went back. And then she said within one hour, her colleagues from around the world all lost access to company email, company Slack. Yeah. Um, then it spread to US and then Asia Pacific. Then she and her teammates started getting ready. Mm. Then she lost uh, access to the company system at about 1 p.m., and a few hours later, she received an email in her personal inbox informing her that she had been laid off. Yeah. Then most of the people in the in her global team were laid off, and just within the span of like six, seven hours, like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. that right. happens. And then the the severance is like half a month for every year that you have worked at Twitter, mm. which is different from what Elon Musk himself said on Twitter, like a minimum of three months, like. Mm. Um, and then. I think, yeah, whether or not to approach Ministry of Manpower, whether or not to to uh, reach uh, reach out to to uh, unions and all that, that is uh, still something that, that's pending for them. Mm. And they've all been placed on garden leave. So I think it's just the shock, which is, wow, well, it's, it's tricky. La. So I don't want to underplay what it feels. Mm. But for me, the entire thing is what I find interesting to watch how it's unfolding and how there are so many people who are just shitting on Elon Musk at this point. Like. Mm, mm. So that's where I felt, oh, okay, there's this, I mean, yeah, so, so that, that's what interests me. This, 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 whole, this whole thing, not just the laying off, what is happening to Twitter. So when you say, so I thought it'd be interesting to watch. You like. say that people are shitting on Elon Musk. Like what, mm. I mean, we don't really go into like specifics, but generally what are people shitting on him for? Like? Uh, I mean, okay, like from what comments I've seen online on Twitter and saying, yeah, he's a he's an idiot. Within a year, Twitter will be burned to the ground. He's going to waste forty four billion. Who the hell comes in and mm. fires that many people? You want to start with like the CEO to have transition, and I just felt, uh, I have no fucking clue how is the best way to do this. Mm. But for for people to just jump so so passionately about this, I felt like, wow, really? Yeah, uh, I mean. This guy does have a decent track record. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, things can go wrong, but I don't know, it just felt like uh, how many people have experience in this field? Uh, and there have been a lot of companies in the past where there's a new leader and people are laid off. Like, I think the most famous is Steve Jobs. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just found it like, wow, hmm. uh, I know on the internet there are a lot of experts mm-hmm. uh, in many things, but I just felt it's a bit premature. Like. So you're saying that 
you know, give the guy a chance. He's got a very strong track record with Tesla and SpaceX. So you don't know what uh, where Twitter might be in a year's time. But And now it's all the teething issue. So uh, why are people jumping on uh, on him and, 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 you know, crying foul about him so early? Lah. That's what you're saying. I mean, to a certain extent, yes. Like, the way they laid off is fucked up, mm. right? There are so many better ways to do it. Mm. But then, of course, and how he got on, uh, became CEO of company also is like, oh, it's just a money play. Mm. Right? It's just a money play. It's almost like a hostile takeover. Mm. But now he's there. Yeah, I think it's more like, not say give him a chance, but who knows what the fuck he's going to do. Yeah. I, I think for me, yeah, I, I, I think not, not unlike you, I always had this impression that Elon Musk was, you know, he's he's very brilliant, right? And even in the the podcast, like Joe, when he was on Joe Rogan's podcast and all that, you actually listen to that and you feel like, oh, this guy is, uh, he's he's really not like the normal person, right? In terms of, you know, his aspirations and the things that uh, he deals with in his mind and everything. It's almost like what you imagined. Uh, I mean, not not to, not to say that Einstein was without his faults or anything, but Imagine someone like Einstein like that the kinds of things that were going through his mind, you know, as he was coming up with theories of relativity and all these things. Uh, um, I think that Joe Rogan podcast of him was really like an eye-opening experience in terms of understanding how how someone so driven, so so motivated to to solve the to try and solve the biggest uh, engineering problems of the world. That's how he thinks, uh, you know. And um, you kind of see how he's trying to apply that to Twitter now, but in some ways, what is very, I guess, very shocking for people is that Twitter is, first and foremost, like, it's about, uh, it's a social media company. So, it's about communication. It's about connecting with mm. people. It's about allowing people to reach each other without barriers. But this entire process from his takeover to employee communications to, to even communicating about the next steps of the company and all, it's just been lacking in communication, la you know, uh, to say the least. Mm. I think what you're seeing, what you're hearing from a lot of ex-employees is they they feel in the dark about what is happening and uh, everything has been coming through very cryptic emails and very, you know, last minute ultimatums about if you don't do this, you know, you are, we will take it that you're fired. I think, for example, there's a, during the, I think there's been, uh, in the last few days, there's been an email going around where, where Elon Musk specifically is asking them to the remaining employees to work at very high intensity la, for long hours. And um, basically, there's a Google form where the only option to answer to that is, yes, I agree to do that. And apparently, if you don't answer, oh, yeah, apparently if you don't answer yes by 5 p.m. Thursday yesterday, uh, like if it's 5 p.m. local time Thursday in the US, uh, it's taken <laughs> that you, 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 you don't want the job anymore. La. So, I mean, I mean, that, that's just not, the way that you would typically think a leader of a new company or, uh, you know, a captain of a, a sinking ship is trying to stabilize the situation, like, right? Like, issue ultimatums. It almost sounds like something straight out of the army general's playbook, like, you know, if you don't do this, I charge you straight, you know, that kind of, that kind of feeling. Um, plus, you know, I, <laughs> I think there was an all-hands meeting as well or something like that where a town hall where he gathered the employees and then in his first, like, way of addressing the employees, he literally told them that bankruptcy is an option. You know, the mm. bankruptcy of the company is an option. And then you're like, wow. Okay, I mean, it is, bankruptcy is always an option for any entity, la, right? Uh, it, that's just how it is. But when you just taken over as the as the boss and everything, usually what you're trying to do is to make people feel uh, possibilities and excited about future such that they will work for you. But but <laughs> this one is really dragging them through. The, like, okay, this is what, you know, this is the shit that will happen if you don't work like 996 and give me and sleep in your office, lah. So it's um mm. you know for a place like Twitter, which uh even within big tech, I think the the impression of Twitter is that it's a much more uh uh employee uh empathetic kind of place where they really care about employee welfare and 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 uh, empathy is a very big value in the company. It just seems like a whole a very hundred eighty degree hard hard turn. Uh. That's why I think it's so mm. uh it's been so jarring for for people that that they they. They're calling out Elon Musk at this point already, like, for changing the culture, or at least not, not even respecting the culture for even one minute, lah. 